Hello, my name is Brian Curtis, and today I'm going to be comparing my capability to make wooden spoons and beaded necklaces. So, starting off, um, for every hour I spent um, making spoons, I'm able to make two for a t uh, in a total of one hour. So, every additional hour, I make two or two more spoons, uh, leaving me at a 10-hour workday with 20 spoons. For beaded necklaces, every one additional hour, I am able to make five additional necklaces, leaving me at a um, in a 10-hour workday with a total of 50 necklaces. And then this graph shows the correlation between number of spoons and number of beaded necklaces and where they align. For my friend's production capabilities, every... Um, one hour he spends making spoons, he makes a total of four spoons. Um, for beaded necklaces, um, every hour he spends, he makes five necklaces. So, it takes him a little longer to make necklaces, but a lot, it takes him, uh, it, he makes spoons a lot faster than I do. So, um, just keep that in mind. So, out of, uh, 10 hour workday he makes 40 spoons at a 10 hour workday he makes 50 necklaces this graph compares both of them and where they correlate for my friends okay so absolute versus comparative advantage for me it take for one for me to make one spoon it only takes me half an hour for my friend it takes one fourth of an hour so as you can see, ah, uh, my friend is more efficient than I am because he can make more spoons with less time. As for necklaces, however, um, I am actually more efficient because I can make one necklace in about um, two, or I can make. Uh, one necklace and one tenth of an hour, while he can only make one necklace and one fifth of an hour. Um, one so for me, one spoon every five necklaces, or you could see it as one necklace for every one fifth of a spoon. So here are all the opportunity costs uh, listed. So I'm just gonna go through each one. So the opportunity costs; these are all for me first. The opportunity cost for me to make one spoon, two out of two spoons, is about five necklaces. The opportunity cost, and then I list that numerical value in the second opportunity cost. And then the opportunity cost for me to make um, 10 out of 10 necklaces is about two out of 10 spoons. The opportunity cost for me to make one necklace and one fit is about one fifth of a spoon, which is, these are all basically kind of repeating each other, but it's just different ways of saying my opportunity cost. So for my friend, um, one spoon equals one fourth necklaces. Um, and then one necklace equals four fifths of every spoon. So, Basically, these are listing the same thing, but the opportunity cost is four of four spoons and five of four necklaces. The opportunity cost is five of four necklaces and one spoon. And then the opportunity cost is five of five necklaces and four of five spoons. So um, to sum it up, uh, it seems that I am more ca or capable of making necklaces while my friend is more capable of making spoons um thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope um it was as clear as i can make it be